Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to study logical connectors and logical operators. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so in this video, we are just going to study the basics. Okay, walang symbols, walang logical symbols involved. Okay, so the goal of this video is maging komportable muna kayo sa iba't ibang logical operators. Okay, the symbols and the truth tables for the logical operators will be discussed in my next video. So, in this video, we're just going to embrace all the logical operators. Okay? So, let's start. Before we start, let us recall the definition of a proposition. Okay? A proposition or a statement. Okay? It is a declarative sentence. Okay? It's not interrogative. It's not imperative. Okay? It's not exclamatory. Okay? It is a declarative sentence that is either true or false but not both. Hindi pwede true at saka false siya at the same time. Bawal yon, Isa lang dapat. Okay? So, that is a proposition. What about um, logical operators? Okay? I-define na rin natin. So, a logical operator is a symbol or word used to connect two or more propositions. Okay? So, let's list down some connectors, okay, na ginagamit para mapag-join natin ang two or more propositions. The first connector that we have here is the word not. Okay? Pwede rin yung it is false that Okay? Pwede rin, it is not true that, pwede rin yun. Okay? These logical connectives or operators are called negation. Okay? So, pag nakakita kayo ng mga words na ganyan, not, it is false that, it is not true that, okay? Negation ang tawag sa logical operator na yun. Alright? The second connector is the word and. Okay? You call this logical operator or logical connective um, as conjunction, okay? Later, um, I will be giving you some examples na conjunction, pero hindi word na and ang gagamitin, okay? Okay, so what about this connector, the word or? So, ang tawag sa logical connective or operator na or is this junction. Okay? The next in line is the if-then connector. Okay? If you have a statement using this connector, the if-then connector, ang tawag naman doon, conditional. Alright? Okay. And then finally, we have this connector, the if and only if. Okay? If you have like that naman, ang tawag, by conditional. Diba? So, yan lang yung mga common connectors in logic. So, all you have to do is to remember these connectors and remember kung anong tawag sa kanila. Okay? Whether negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional, or biconditional. Okay? Again, we will not be dealing with symbols and truth tables in this video. Okay, let's have a quick review. Are you ready? Okay. Question number one, which is not a logical operator? Letter D, by negation. Wala tayong ganon, okay? Number two, which of the following is not a logical connector? It is letter B. Okay, correct. Okay, another one. Which logical operator uses the connector or? It is disjunction. Okay? Why? Uh, let's have a quick review here. Negation uses the word not. Okay? Conjunction uses the word and. Okay? And then conditional, okay? It uses the word or words if 
then. Alright? Okay, let's move on. How about this one? Which logical operator uses the connector and? It's very easy. It is conjunction. Alright? Okay. So, for the next set of exercises, you have to identify the logical operator used in each proposition. Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Here. Competence is not confidence. Uh, what logical operator is used? Okay, you see the word not. Okay, kapag may not, it is negation. Okay, letter C. Let's do more. What about this? Tata Higo will eat dairy products if and only if they are organic. You see the connector? Okay, it's if and only if. Anong tawag nyo dyan? Okay, it is a biconditional. Right? Okay. What about this number? Healthy Zaid is either a vegan or an organic consumer. Okay? Actually, kapag tinanong ko sa inyo, ano yung connector dyan, um, it's not the single word or. Okay? Hindi yon Kasama yung either. Okay, so either or, okay, kapag nakita nyo yan, it is a disjunction. Alright? Okay. Okay, what about this number? If a finite won't fathom the infinite, then fate must prevail. Is it the if then? Yeah? Okay, so this is obviously a conditional. Okay, so let's have another set of exercises. Ito yung last set of exercises. For this set of exercises, you are going to identify the connector or connectors used in each proposition. Okay? First proposition. It is not true that a good deed will give a bad result. Alin dyan ang connector? Pwede naman um, not, okay? Pero ang best answer is, it is not true that. Okay? That is the connector. It is not true that. Okay? Yung totoong proposition na ninigate nun is, a good deed will give a bad result. That is the um, original proposition. One has peace of mind if and only if there is contentment. Uh, what is the connector used? If and only if. Okay? Ano yung kinonect niyang dalawang propositions? The first proposition is, one has peace of mind. Okay? The other proposition is, um, there is contentment. Okay, the two propositions... Combined by the connector if and only if, they are called components. Okay? Okay. So, let's have another example. Next statement. It is a good deed to love friends, but it is divine to love enemies. Do you see the connector? Okay. It is the word but. Okay? So, kung papansinin ninyo, wala pa tayong example na ganun. Okay? So, yung but, kapareho lang din siya ng connector na and. Okay? So, the logical connective or logical operator for this is conjunction. Okay? You can also state this in this way. It is a good deed to love friends and it is divine to love enemies. Alright? Okay, what are the two propositions being connected here? First proposition, it is a good deed to love friends. Okay, what is the second proposition? It is divine to love enemies. These two propositions are called conjuncts. Second to the last example. If a picture paints a thousand words, then I must paint you. What is the connector? If, then. 
Okay? So, kailan magkasama yan. Alright? If, then, what do you call this logical connective or logical operator? It is conditional. Alright? Okay. What are the two propositions being connected? The first proposition is a picture paints a thousand words. The second proposition, I must paint you. Okay? Yung first proposition, that is what you call the hypothesis. The second proposition is what you call the conclusion. Alright? Okay, let's move on to our last example. A great man either wins a game with humility or loses a game as a real man should. Okay? What is the connector? Okay? Baka isagot nyo or. Okay? Kailangan kasama yung either. So, ang sagot dito, either or. Okay? They are the connectors. What do you call um, statements being connected using the words either or? It is a disjunction. Okay? Sige nga, can you give me the two propositions here? Um, the first proposition is, a great man wins a game with humility. Okay? That's the first proposition. Okay? The second proposition is, a great man loses a game as a real man should. Okay? And these two propositions are called disjuncts. All right? So, I hope you remember all the terms that you learned in this video. Okay? And please, watch out for my next video. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.